بسم اللہ الحمد للہ وسلاۃ وسلام علیہ رسول اللہ رب شرح علی صدری و یسر علی عمری و حلدم السلام علیکم و ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ Today we'll be talking about creating reports and we'll create report using the report wizard and then we will modify the report in the layout view. At the end we will apply conditional formatting to our report. So let's create the report. Um, to create a report we have to click on the create and then we will go for the report wizard. This is the easiest way that you can use the wizard. Um, we are looking for a table patient and then we'll look for the visit as well so we are creating a report on patient and their visits so from the patient table i need a column like patient id the first name and the last name and then we'll go for the city um, birth date and the phone field okay and now i can go for the visit table from the same place i need all column except patient id okay so what i can do is i can i can select all columns they will come after the phone and now i can remove the patient id because patient id is already available on the top so there you go now i can click on the next okay i want to view my data like a patient on the top and visit at the bottom same as the form you know the form and the sub form um any any other way to group the data no i think is fine i can i have no priority um, in this one i can say i would like to go for the visit date should be in ascending order okay so click on the next i need the outline view you see step is a bit different if you if you see here the step is a bit different and outline is a bit different so that's it Let's go for the next now i can name the patient and visits i can click finish when i click finish it will preview me the report okay i can see the preview of the report the report will look like this so i can make the size bigger and you know if you want you can go for the zoom and you can say fit to window click on that so you can see at least you can see the one page of report on your view so let's go and see this also, by the way this is when i close it take me to the it take me to the design view the design view of the report so you see here in the report view i have a report view a print view and then layout and design view uh, mostly we'll be working in the design view uh, in the layout view so i can click on the layout okay and now let's see what we can do in the layout so in layout first of all i will apply a theme so let's go to the design and see where is the theme i think it should be in the format uh, in the design yes there you go in the design i can i need to apply a slice theme so let's go and see if you see here so every time we move to the different um, theme it changes uh, this is the slice and now I can right click on that and I can say apply theme to this object only. Okay, so I can click on that and you, see, you can see that it is applied. Now I can fix the title. Okay, double click and go inside patient space and space visit. And by the way, I need to, I need to add um, Okay uh, we need to fix the birth date as well. So let me go to the birth date. And you see the birth date is a bit little bit out. So I can click the first birth date and I can move with the help of arrow keys. One, two, three, four. There you go. So this is now aligned. Um, so now I can look at the walk-in clinic is not clear. So I want to make it in the center of of the checkbox okay so there you go but it's still not visible so i can i can increase the size of this one so i can see the question mark clearly and now i can just a little bit more okay so now what we need to do is okay visit date let's see the visit date okay i want to move the visit date and the label 
label is this one and this is the value. I'm going to move four spaces on the left. One, two, three, four. There you go. So we moved the visit date as well. Um, and by the way, visit date in the sub report. Huh? Um, I need to change the color of the title, you know, so I can go up this color. I can go to the um, format. I can go for the font color. I can say this is my uh, lighter is 50. No, I need the 25%. Uh, there you go. So this is black text one lighter 25%. And now I need the logo as well. So in the design, I can go for the logo and I can say logo I need from my from my folder and this is my medical logo okay can I use my arrow keys to move it yes I can use my arrow key to move because it is not in the stack if I if I right click on that and I take you to the layout and you see that the remove layout is gone so it is not in the so it, this shows that it is not stacked or it is not the tabular uh, layout. So it is out of the layout now. That is why I can move with the help of arrow keys quite easily. Now, conditional formatting on the birth date. Okay, let's go and apply the conditional bar. So I can go for the birth date. Okay, I can click on the birth date. Now I can go for formatting and conditional formatting. I'll create a rule new rule for the birthday if the value is greater than 1 1 yani January 1st 1997 then I, I want it to be a red color and a bold and okay now if you see I applied okay so you will see any date after 97 will be after January 1st 97 will be the red color you see that so this is what we call conditional formatting. If it fulfills the condition, it will be a red color. Otherwise, it will be a black and white. You see that? There you go. 2008 is after 2006. Any date after January 1st, 1997 will be red and bold. Uh, that's it for today. This is the end of introductory level Microsoft Access. Inshallah, uh, will be coming soon for intermediate level. Uh, Microsoft Access. In that, we will be talking about advanced queries. We'll be talking about custom forms. Today, we will use the wizard, but in the other way, we will be using custom form, custom reports, and we'll be working on sharing, integrating, and analyzing data. So, thank you very much for your uh, patience. Kafara Majlis, Subhanallah wa bihamdihi. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. Nashadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilaik. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.